Welcome back guys, this is Jimmy Jules 153 back with another Dreams Logic video. Today we'll be covering tags and trigger zones. What a trigger zone basically does is detect something that you've told it to detect, and when it's detected that item, it'll output a signal. You can set it to detect anything really, from the imp to a specific item in your scene, uh, but today we'll be concentrating on the tag detection setting. We'll initially need to tell it the name of the tag to look for, or it'll just be looking for a tag with no name if we don't set this. We'll set this just to A for now. So with our trigger zone looking for a tag named A, we'll pull out our tag from the gadgets menu. You'll see here that the tags also have an output, and that output is activated when the chip is detected by a trigger zone, which you'll see shortly. We'll change the name of the tag from the default tag to A, the same as our trigger zone. Now you'll see immediately that the wall has changed colour because the trigger zone is outputting the signal, having now detected the tag. If I open up the trigger zone, you'll be able to see the detection area for where it's looking for that tag, and if I move the tag out of the detection area, the zone will turn off like so. You'll also see the tag lighting up because it's outputting a signal when it's inside the trigger zone. You can stretch the trigger zone out with your imp by grabbing the green zone sides with your trigger and pulling or pushing it, or you can see down the bottom of the tweak menu here that you can change the zone to a specific size with the XYZ sliders. We can of course change the detection area shape too, which is on the zone size and shape page. You can see in here that we can change the zone shape from a square to a cone, cylinder, sphere, and a stretched sphere. There's also a setting down the bottom to make the zone detect the tag anywhere in the scene. So basically what this means is it doesn't matter where your tag is, as long as it's turned on, it'll get picked up by the zone. There's also a way to output a percentage signal based on how close the detected item is to the trigger zone, but I'll explain that in the next video with the angle sensor because it's a little easier to understand, and you'll find that a lot of the settings carry over from logic piece to logic piece, so as you're learning one, you're learning a bit of all of them. That's it for today's video guys, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.